me and my sister. Did she like take too many pills or something? <laughs> Quite a charmed life. Uh no. Charmed. No, she she took the H train. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, she took the H train. Shame she wasn't as big and fat as Artie. She'd still be alive having people tweeting fight the good fight, you fat fucking heroin addict. <laughs> Do you hate Artie now? No, he no. just I no, I love Artie. I hate his what stupid happened? fans that would just sit there and be like, "Hey, fight the good fight." No, go to jail. Go to rehab for a year and get better. And all his friends are like, "No, no, he's really trying. He's not trying. You fucking dopes." Yeah, but you know what? This is how I feel about Artie. And you were much closer to Artie than I ever was. I know Artie pretty casually, and I, I, I really, really like Artie Lang. He is. He's the guy... most loyal guy in the business. He's but when hilarious. he's on heroin, you know what he's loyal to? Heroin. Of course, everybody and he'll is, shit though. and lie on Every, everyone for that. You got to understand. It's so like, all the people that don't know him, like, oh, I know Artie. I listened to Howard Stern for ten years. Yeah. So I drove to work with him. No, you didn't. You fucking faggot. I know Artie, and he's dying. And you no. dopes that tweet, "Oh, we got your back, buddy. Keep fighting the good fight." Further enable him to just lie and go into fucking court and tell the guy, "Yeah, I don't know how uh, how cocaine's in my system. I would never do that." You did. Obviously, but he, I mean, do is you he in hey, rehab look, now? Look, What's people. That? Is he in rehab now? I, I don't know. He's probably in jail somewhere where he fucking belongs. It's all the you only are thing salty with Artie. What's going on? Because what he, happened here, Gino? I didn't know this was going on. Because Artie, can I tell you something? I saw one of the first times I ever had a really good conversation with Artie Lang was in Montreal when I did New Faces. Yeah, you were up there. We with were him. doing you guys the were in a live together. podcast. Yeah. Um, and we hung out, and I, that was the first time I ever like ha- got to really like hang with Artie, and he was fucked up. He was on drugs. Then. Yeah, he was like leaning on a wall, like yeah. fucked up. Um, and you know, you guys were very, very, very close. We still uh, here's this is my anger, and it sounds like it's at Artie. No, it's like at every stupid fucking fan out there that will, will tweet and be like, "Yeah, he's my buddy," and. And and then they send these tweets and he gets this yeah. grassroots following it. Everyone believes this myth that he's really trying to not Nobody do heroin and all that. this stuff. Yeah. Nobody believes well, that. Well, the, they? the court system sure fucking did. Yeah, but how many fucking chances did they give him before he fucking showed up with his nose falling off, Ugh. saying, "Oh, you know what? I'll, I just need." You can't put me in jail, officer, because my mother will be on welfare. Don't you ever do that again. Throw your mother under the bus. Because he believes all the shit his dumb fans are telling him. Yeah, but you know what it is, dude? He's a fucking addict. Yeah. It's, hold on. It's not... It'd be oh, terrible to have a crippling addiction. Did listen, I tell you much? I, I think the selfies ahead before are the I got in here. <laughs> Real quick. Listen. Why does he take those selfies? Listen to me. His nose is made out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I w- he dropped in at the cellar I saw him like a, a month ago or whatever and uh, he looked my friend said he looked like he just lost a bum fight like it was yeah. nuts it, he was yeah. so he was clearly fucked he up he takes too. those selfies to get more fans to respond exactly to right. enable let me, him let me those say tweets that, let me say that, I want to respond to because I'm not a person who looks at drug addicts as like victims or I don't look at them as you know people are like oh it's a disease um Sometimes people let go, and I think that's what Artie has done. I think Artie let go a while ago. Yeah. I, you know, it, obviously, when he, you try to kill yourself by plunging a knife into yourself, it's a darkness that most people will never experience. Yeah. Um, and this is very much from like a fan's perspective because yeah. I don't know Artie don't like know that. We've never, either, we've never spoken on any deeper level. Um, but I, I you know, when a guy's that far gone. I stop going like, oh my God, we should have an intervention. Oh my God, this guy. I just go like, he's killing himself and he wants to do that. And I sort of have a philosophy that I believe that number one, people can put whatever they want into their body and they don't, they shouldn't be put into a cell for it. So I don't think that he should be put in jail for being a drug addict. You know, it's sad, um, but he's only hurting himself, you know, and, and, you know, maybe his loved ones or friends or whatever. But the reality is it's his body. So I don't think somebody should be locked up for that. Um, but I also feel, sadly, if somebody wants to end their life, they also have every right to do that. And while it's happening and it's a very sad thing, you know, I just don't know fans, friends, whoever it is. I don't know who's going to come in at this point and save Artie Lang's life. It doesn't seem like you have to want to save yourself. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Like I'm not telling you something that you haven't heard. Of course, before. of course. Yeah. And that, you know, it just seems like he wants to go. It seems I, like he wants to go. I, th- I don't think he does. 
I don't think he'll die as long as his mother's alive because he's an old school Italian mama's yeah. boy like myself. Yeah. And he would never do that to his mother. I'm yeah. not making like yeah, that. You, have you, have you like been the into right? drugs yeah. before? I don't, I don't think you're a history. We, we've drank a lot together. I don't yes. know your history with drugs. I'm great at, with alcohol. I did cocaine for a long time when I was in college and stuff. I still, de I, I, I stay away from cocaine now because I just know I'm going to get the fentanyl. I'm, I'm going to get the fentanyl batch and die. So yeah. I'm like, I have too much to live Coke's for now. too dangerous now. What's yeah. that? Coke stick. Coke it's, it's, it's no fun anymore. It's just like uh, why do they put fentanyl in coke now? Yeah, it's a, a ton of com like no. young comics are like dying because who's like, the one that just died in L.A. Oh, uh, Brody? No, he, no, he, 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 he killed himself. himself. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like I think his name is Dill Meyer just died in D.C. No, like some black kid died in L.A. Oh, Kevin Barnett, but he yes, had, he had like you. health problems though. I think sure right? he, he died. Did. In, he died in Mexico. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, uh, that's where you go to die of health problems. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So wait, hold on. They're a lacing... common cold is a health yeah. problem in They're Mexico. They're lacing cocaine with fentanyl. Yeah. No. Why? Because it like it gets people hooked on it more. But I also easier. heard. Hold on. And correct hold me if I'm wrong. I heard like. It's sorry. It's so much harder to get cocaine into the country now. I heard uh -huh. that they're getting shit cocaine, and they've really got to cut it a lot. So this fentanyl, if you cut it properly with fentanyl, you know, like if you have ten bags of cocaine, I'm just doing a thing, and you put like a little fentanyl in each, or you you mix it. Per if you put fentanyl in the cocaine and mix it perfectly. And divide it by 10, then it's good. But if you do it wrong and all the fentanyl's in one bag, you're done. Hold on, let me see now. Let me see. A Thank growing you. public health crisis Thank is you. hitting eastern states that involves an often unintentional com combined use of cocaine and fentanyl. The number of overdoses involving these two drugs together has skyrocketed in the last few years. Many users don't realize cocaine has been contaminated with this potent opioid as a result. And the result is too often fatal under your fatal reaction emergency. Uh, they're not cutting cocaine with fentanyl. Fentanyl, let me... Let, no, I thought they no, were. They are, let me yeah. say this. Let me, let me, I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. I, let me just think out loud. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Because fentanyl's an expensive drug, right? I don't know. No, I think fentanyl is just like something else that they cut it they're with. They're cutting like, it, yeah. It's for, like really cheap and garbagey, right? It's like a shitty opiate. It, it's like uh, oxy, but like that's why it's it's deadly, I guess. But I just don't, I don't understand why they would take a drug that people didn't know that it has its own street value, you know what I'm saying, and cut it with that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I understand, like, having your shit laced or whatever, but yeah. I don't, why would, Harrington, you want to chime in? I see you're, you're saying something. Yeah, it's, it's way more valuable as a diluting agent because it's so powerful that if you were to sell, like, a bag of it, you know what I mean? Like, everyone's going to die. You're going to kill your whole customer base. But why That's Coke? Bad for Coke, business. Coke is an upper that fucking. This I'm just. I don't know. I'm not arguing the point. I'm just saying it doesn't make any sense to me that Coke would be. It's so personally. crappy that they're cutting it with stuff that makes it so much of an upper. They have to cut it with something to make it slightly more of a downer. So they're double diluting it, for lack of a better word. And when they don't mix it properly, and you get all the fucking fentanyl in one toast. I can't do Coke. Anytime I do Coke, I get a sty. Shut up. I swear to God, it's weird because. Um, you guys probably remember when I was having recurring styes on the show. If you guys listen, if you guys remember Legion of Skanks, that's Never when I was doing a lot of cocaine. Oh, <laughs> that's you can actually go back and just whenever, whenever I had a sty, like when Tony Hinchcliffe came on that time, like I would go during the show and do cocaine. I would literally dip off Why into not? the fucking bathroom. It was crazy. Um, it was a really like fucked up dark place I was in um, at the time. But I didn't realize that people were doing that. I had no idea that that was. I, uh, I heard of that it's being mixed with heroin more. Yeah, no, it's weird. Never, but but I that's another that's another compassion I have for Artie because I have a, an addictive personality between coffee and alcohol and all that stuff. Yeah, and again, I would start with alcohol. I yeah, think the coffee. And, yeah, and, and, yeah, and cocaine. You're I, I'm the telling you, it's not that I don't like it. It's like it's no fun. There's if you're not enjoying doing cocaine, there's no point to. So if you're snorting and saying like, mm -hmm. "Is this the fentanyl one?" Then then mm -hmm. you can't. You know what? What? what but right, thank so, God I never got addicted to heroin because that kill. It's done. Yeah. Back, yeah. on, back on to Artie for a second, though, because I want to I figure out what happened, because you you say you're mad at the fans, but you're obviously, there's something, you're you're pissed at him in some way or another, because you're, let, you're saying Because he things. just fucking plays that fucking, oh, you said it, why does he tweet pictures of his nose? Look, I think he does, so fans will send tweets, and he can further enable himself, and do, he's a mess, he just needs to stop lying to himself, and go to jail or go to rehab for a year, but he fights it the way, and his fans enable him to do it. Addicts Can't lie. He just like wear crazy. Groucho Marx glasses. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. That, but it's just Can it, get his it, nose it frustrates yeah. me to no end. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you kind of hope a guy like that pulls through. You know what I without mean? Without a like, doubt. 
I mean, I love Artie. He was like, I grew up on Stern, and I fucking I and he was, thought he was so fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I was a big fan. I have both of his books and stuff. I love Artie. Books, like yeah. as a dude, I think he's a really good guy from my perspective. I, I don't know beyond you know whatever, but and it was also a really brilliant, um, you know, brilliant radio guy, really great comedian. Um, it's just kind of sad, but you know, I was having a conversation with somebody, and this chick was like, she was like, she's like, we need to just like, we should have a talk with him, and I'm like. Really, us? We're the. T- it's like we're. It's yeah. like you know. How many people have probably had interventions with Artie? If Howard Stern and that job yeah. wasn't enough to get him to stop doing drugs, well, that's another thing that haunts him. That he that he knows he drugs cost him like the greatest gig the in the world. The greatest job, yeah. And yeah. he was. And to his credit, it was the greatest job in the world because he was so great at it. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, he was amazing. A lot of people in that chair. It's not the greatest job in the world. Yeah, him. It was. It's by far, the, in my opinion, the by far the best Stern years when he was on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's also like, but the thing was, his persona weirdly was like the drug guy who's like gonna die. Like even back in yeah, like 2007, 2008, much, yeah. he yeah. thinks he's the next Belushi. Yeah, and he like leans into that. It's actually amazing. I thought he's, I thought Artie was gonna die every year since 2008, and it's like yeah. it's crazy that he's still alive, honestly. Yeah. But the stuff, and, and then his Twitter account says ridiculous stuff. It's like, oh yeah, he's in jail, but they're just keeping him in jail two days so he can rest up. Do you read what yeah. you have your people tweeting? Read the last tweet. It also feels like every time he does a show, that's when he's tweeting about how he's doing a gig, that feels like, oh, he's fucked up. Yeah, he's like, I'm in rehab. You're in rehab so you can have a guy drive you to a bar? Yeah. That's not rehab. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know any of the people that are around him, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem like Bob has, Levy was. He yeah, doesn't, he doesn't seem like he has the best people around him. You know. <laughs> He's got included. the best people. Yeah, <laughs> the fact that Gino Bisconti is a voice of reason. Yeah, in life is like fucking, I mean, holy shit, happens that, sometimes, people. That's actually why he plunged a knife into his stomach. Yeah, <laughs> he realized that fact one day. He was yeah. like, Gino is. I a walked voice. in like we're hanging out. The true suicide was doing a show with Kumia. <laughs> oh yeah, and then he said he was kidnapped, <laughs> just so he could do a joke on a podcast. Stop it. Oh boy. Um. All right. Yeah. I'm on. I, I feel like we're talking shit on. And I'm. And we're I'm not because I really. I really like Gordon. I respect him a lot. Yeah, he's a great guy. I really. I wish that he could. He could pull through. But it sucks because he is it, funny. Like he's fucking hilarious. He needs to be put in rehab and or jail for a year in rehab or friggin' three months in jail. But do you think that's going to be enough? I don't think that'll be enough when you're that far gone. I mean, well, at least. Well, then we agree at least that because I'll tell you what's not going to fix him. Letting him go on Twitter and do spots and. Keep like letting the court system just keep giving him breaks. He had like a year or two, like right after that suicide attempt, where he like really made a concerted effort to like get clean and stuff like that. And he was, I remember he was doing that show with Apollo and all that stuff. And it was like, he was so, Link, yeah, so Link, funny. Link Those show. Conan appearances he did during that time are like hysterical. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's like, this dude's really funny, clean. Like, he's like, if you're ever bored, listen to the old already quitter podcast if you can find it online because he, he begins, he's great. It's him and he's fine. Then he slides into opioids, and then by the end, he's just this miserable, angry, yeah. you know, drug-seeking genius. Yeah. Well, he was high at the cellar, and he <laughs> didn't have a great... I mean, he, he did fine, but it was like, he's clearly fucked up, and it's like... Also, he needs to address the nose on stage. You can't... Like, yeah, you, you that can't. is the fucking elephant in the room. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Says um, the guy who's just coming off his five shots of Jameson. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not a quitter. 